Um, hi, Jakub. Today, I wanted to ask you a few questions about the process of uh, becoming a citizen of the Czech Republic. So I know uh, from working with you that um, to be able to get Czech citizenship, you have to have what? What do you have to have? Uh, hi, Eva. Thank you for inviting me. Well, uh, to get a Czech citizen, first, you need to have a Czech and ancestors <laughs> that's the uh, main condition uh, and then you need to prove that to the czech government so once the applicants or clients contact us we first need to assess their family tree if they are eligible or not if they are uh, we need to get the documents that actually prove that they are eligible for czech citizenship which is usually um, typically birth and marriage certificates of them and their ancestors to prove the lineage, uh, the kinship with the last Czech ancestor. Uh, so we need to uh, get these documents both from the Czech Republic and uh, usually the country wh where the applicant is living or even from some other countries if, for example, their ancestors moved often. And then uh, get some few more stamps on it. Usually it's apostille certification, basically to prove the Czech government that these documents are you know, originals and they are not some fakes. And then uh, everything is sent to me or to us, to the Czech Republic, where we do the Czech notary uh, copies, Czech translations and things like this. Uh, also, we create forms for the clients with their information for the Czech government, and then the application is ready. Uh, after that, mm, the application is submitted, usually by me in, in Prague, uh, in the Czech citizenship department. Then the Czech government is deciding about the application, usually within six months. Uh, and then the client receives the Czech citizenship certificate, basically proving that they are a Czech citizen. So what we aimed for. But uh, this is not the end. Um, because the citizenship certificate is not the same as the Czech passport. Actually, you cannot travel, uh, with the, or you can, but they probably won't let you um, to, the, to the plane just with the citizenship certificate. You also need a passport. So for the passport, you need to uh, register your birth or marriage in, in the Czech Republic. And then with these documents, you can apply um, at your usually at your local Czech consulate or embassy for a Czech passport. Interesting. So you make it sound so easy, but of course it's not. But I wanted to uh, clarify just a couple of points. It needs to be your direct ancestor, so directly related to you. So it can't be an aunt or an uncle or somebody that maybe adopted someone. So it needs to be a clear line of ancestry because um, the Czech Republic's laws um, um, mean that you can only pursue Czech citizenship through this particular pathway through blood or ancestry, right? Um, so that's number one. And the second, uh, the journey that you described, um, you know, it sounds um, pretty straightforward, but it's not. It's made up of different sort of elements and different offices manage bits of it, right? Yes, exactly. It usually takes a few months to get this done. And, you know, uh, on the way, we sometimes find some surprises or some family mystery, for example, that, I don't know, grandmother was not, married in the place where we thought that she was married so we need to search where she get married and and then we find the marriage certificate but it can take some time definitely so you know few months usually mm -hmm. so sometimes there's some uh curveballs or curly um you know research questions that we might um come across and then we need to clarify those um, either before the applications filed with the Czech government or to the Czech government if they have questions. So um, how do we assess someone's eligibility um, for Czech citizenship? Uh, if someone is interested uh, in the Czech citizenship, we first uh, send them the blank family tree to fill, fill in. And then I assess that. Uh, you know, it's very complicated, but I will try to put it simple. Uh, basically, I go through all the Czech uh, citizenship laws in in, you know, in the 20th and 21st century, actually, not just the current one, but also the last one, because in different periods of time, there were different citizenship laws. And I go through all the ancestors of the applicant and see how the citizenship changed. And you know, because I know the laws a little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so I, I can tell usually in 
let's say a minute or two if the applicant is eligible or not. Mm -hmm. And of course, the final decision uh, rests with the Czech government, but we tend to um, even turn people away because we know that they cannot get through and they would be wasting their time and money. So I think your job, firstly, assessing people's cases to make sure that they do qualify and then holding their hand throughout uh, the process of research, gathering documents, and preparing the application is really important because what we want is um, to give it to the Czech government and for them to approve it very quickly. Um, so the only way to make sure of that is that we actually give them what they ask for, right? Yes, that's right. Uh, in some cases, it can also happen that I'm not able to assess uh, if the client is eligible or not because some important data is missing. Uh, so we first need to do the research, actually, to find these missing pieces of information. And then um, when I see the family tree, including the dates and something, uh, then I can reassess that again and we are sure if uh, the client is eligible or not. So this is actually becoming more and more popular because, for example, clients don't know much about the history of their ancestors in the Czech Republic. So we will find everything for them and then it's everything clear. Yeah. And some archives, we cannot get access to the Czech governments. The only authority that I can actually uh, access them is my, my understanding. So um, in those cases where we're not 100 percent sure uh, whether you qualify or not, we will tell you that and then um, put it to the Czech government to um, check the internal archives and tell us if someone is still eligible or not. Yeah, that's correct. But usually if we can find a lot in the in the archives uh, before the process will be started. But as you mentioned, some of the internal archives uh, just government has access to. Okay. Well, thank you very much. And I'm sure um, that you will join me in inviting um, anybody that ever wants to know anything about Czech citizenship to contact you or your colleague, uh, Alexandra, who's in Melbourne. Uh, thanks for your time today, Jakub. Definitely. Thank you too, Eva.